In this video, we're going to look at a couple examples on my math lab that have to do with slope and y-intercept. So this first one says, list the slope and the y-intercept, then graph. And it gives us f of x equals 4x minus 6. So notice this has the form mx plus b, only they're using f of x instead of y. Uh, the m in this case would be 4, uh, so that's the slope. So you could think of the slope as being 4 or 4 over 1. And the y-intercept would be negative 6 or 0 comma negative 6. So right here it says uh, type in the slope, and the slope is 4. And we'll click check answer, and it says good job. The y-intercept is, now if I type in minus 6, let's see what happens. Notice it says, sorry, that's incorrect. The y-intercept is really an ordered pair, so we should write in 0, comma ordered 6, and don't forget to put the uh, parentheses uh, around it. And so notice 0, comma negative 6, that's the answer. And finally, it says use the graphing tool on the right to graph the equation. Use the slope and the y-intercept when drawing the line. So let's open this up here. Uh, we want to draw a line that has a slope of 4 and a y-intercept of negative 6. So let's click over here on the line tool and we'll go down to our y-intercept of 0, negative 6. The slope is 4, or 4 over 1. So what that means is if we run to the right 1, we should go up 4. And I believe that would be this point right here. Okay, if you went to the right four, 1 again, you go up 4, and so on. And let me click uh, Save down here. And then we'll click Check Answer. And notice it says, well done. This next example says graph the equation using slope and y-intercept. And this one it gives us is y equals negative 10 sevenths x minus 5. This one's going to be a little bit trickier to graph, I think you'll see, uh, because of one thing here. So uh, and, and so notice we're going to graph negative 5. We're going to plot 0 comma negative 5. But this time we want to run to the right 7 and then go down 10. But notice if we run to the right 7, we, we're not allowed to go down 10. The graph doesn't go that far down. So how are we going to graph this, right? We want to go to the right 7 and down 10. Well, I think we're just going to have to go back to the left, right? So if we go back to the left 7, we're going to have to go up 10. Okay, so we're, gonna, we're at a height of minus 5 now, so we're going to have to go up to a height of positive 5. And I think this is it right here. If you calculate the slope between these two points, notice it's a negative slope. If you start with this one right here, and you go to the right 7, and then go down 10, you, you get to the other point. So let me click Save, and then let me click Check Answer, and notice it says, good job. This next example says, find the slope and the y-intercept of the graph of the linear equation, then write the equation in slope-intercept form. And I'm going to actually do a similar uh, problem here. Okay, but notice it's a little tricky to see. You can't see it very well, so let's let's press the, the plus button so we can see it a little bit bigger. Notice, what is the slope and the y-intercept? Well, it looks like the y-intercept there is at negative 2. And what is the slope? Well, what's the next point where it looks like it crosses? It looks like it uh, goes through this point right here, 1, 1. So if we started at our original point and went to the right 1, we'd be going up 3 to get to that point. Okay, then we go to the right 1 and up 3, and then to the right 1 and up 3. So notice the slope would be 3 over 1, and the y-intercept is negative 2. So now I don't want to put 3 over 1 because it says simplify your answer. If you put 3 over 1, I think it's going to mark it incorrect. Yeah mark it incorrect because it says simplify. Right, 3 over 1 is just 3, so let's put 3. Okay, so our slope is 3, and our y-intercept we saw was negative 2, but again, remember we want to write it as 0 comma negative 2 with parentheses around it. Okay, if you just put negative 2 or if you forget the parentheses, it'll mark it incorrect. Okay, and what is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form? Now, let's write it as y equals, I, I think if you write it as f of x equals, I think it marks it wrong. So let's, let's write it as y equals 3x, and then you could put plus a negative 2 like this, but and I think that would mark it correct, but uh, let's write it as 3x minus 2. Okay, and notice it gives us the correct answer. And let's do one more problem. Uh, this one says, find the slope and the y-intercept of the graph of the linear equation, then write the equation in of the line in slope-intercept form. And again, let's uh, get this a little bigger here. Notice that it looks like, the, this is a horizontal line, it looks like it's at a height of 1 there, right? So the slope is 0, and the y-intercept is 0, 1. Okay, so let's go back here. What is the slope? Well, the slope is 0. Horizontal lines have slope 0. Remember, vertical lines have undefined slope. Okay, uh, the y-intercept is, and it should be 0, 1. 
with parentheses there. Uh, good job. And then it says, what, find the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. So this would really be y equals 0x plus 1. But usually we just write it as y equals, so if you write it as y equals 0x plus 1, I, I think it might give you the correct answer. Well, let's check. Uh, uh, it says uh, write it in, so I, I guess it wanted it just y equals 1. Okay, instead of y equals 0x plus 1, it wants you to simplify that and write it as y equals 1. Okay, and notice it gives us the correct answer now.